Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg, and welcome to this series on the Cremona Quartet. It's a meticulously sampled collection of four solo string instruments from E Instruments. This is going to be a fun series. I'm going to spend the first half going over the mechanics of how the instruments work, and the second half, we'll go over some tips and strategies and ideas on how to write for string quartet. Now, the good news here is that we have four separate solo instruments, and they all share the same interface. We have the Stradivari violin, which we're looking at now, the cello, the Guarneri violin, and the Amati viola. So once we go over the interface in detail of one, the rest are going to be almost identical. Now, with each of these, there's two versions of the instruments. We have the regular version and the multi-mic version, and the only difference being, well, obviously, the multiple mics that we have to choose from. So you'll see that they all have those same choices. So right now I've got the multi-mic violin loaded in. And let's just go over the basics. So here we have 20 different professionally played articulations, and they each have up to three legato transitions. And this is what makes this instrument so expressive. Unique on these instruments is a performance captured vibrato that models the natural vibrato technique of how the players play the instrument. And then we can apply control over the vibrato depth and speed. We get to that from these ellipses over here, where we have dynamics control on top and here, vibrato rate style, and so on. Now let's close that up. We have also phase aligned velocity crossfades on the long articulations. So this is great because it eliminates phasing when we're moving from one dynamic layer to the next, which is a problem in a lot of libraries. So we get a really smooth, consistent tone across all the velocities. Now, another unique thing about these instruments is the control over fingerboard positioning that lets you control the timbre. And we get to that in here. So we can choose, for example, low strings on the fretboard for a soft, mellow tone or the higher string positions for a brighter tone. But we also have smart position, which intelligently selects the closest fingerboard position to the other notes that are played the way a real violinist would. So it looks after the fingering and the string selection for us if we want. And we can force strings here via MIDI key switch notes so we can determine if we want to ensure a specific string is used at a specific note and so on. Now we have the different slots here for the different articulations. And we click the ellipses at the top to get into the articulation window where we can select between long, short, expressive, dynamic, and special articulations. We have a constradino mode, bowed, rebowed, and the different articulations have different legato modes. For example, let me switch this one to long sustain. You'll see the different options here, and we'll explore all this. And then we have this kind of smart mode, virtuoso mode, where we have velocity-based switch and so on. Again, we'll explore all this in more detail, everything available via key switches. Now, we have the multi-microphone version that I have loaded in here, and it provides mix faders that we get to up here that let you adjust three separate mix downs of the 32 microphones that were used in the recordings, and each sample is recorded, each chromatic note. So we have the close, mid, and far faders, plus we can bring up room noise. The Stradivari violin was recorded in the auditorium Giovanni Arvedi in Cremona, Italy. So we can blend in the noise floor captured in the auditorium to place the instrument in the perfect quintessential acoustic space. So join me in this series as we explore all the practicalities and aesthetics of string quartet writing, and we'll continue with more in the next video.